But really this is what you need. Listen, I may not be able to speak to a gathering like this again for a long time. But I want this message to you that is on tape, preserved and sent around to brothers and sisters so that in the quiet of their own home, they can listen and confront the same. We have Dr. Bob Moses coming in, working with people within Mississippi, giving them the right to vote so that they can better their opportunity. But one thing that's happened is that they needed a chance to better their own education. So what we wanted to kind of talk about is to kind of give y'all pretty much the overview as to what happened through YPP, how YPP came about. And we wanted to pass it off to my people. Like in 94, 95, uh, Bob Moses came to the middle school I attended. Introduced the algebra project to a few teachers, maybe the girls who were trying to just set up a local classroom where you could just work with students around algebra. Just because I think um, during that time, my school probably had a low algebra score as, as far as like the whole system, dealing with all of the middle schools around. So he was able to get a few teachers that would help, help him out with the algebra project. And he also brought his son down, Top of Moses which was my teacher when I was um, on team 6A, I think, and 6B was the only team that was offered the algebra project. And so one day I was walking in the, in the hall and I seen a group of students at the end of the hall playing this game called the Winding Game. They didn't know what the game was. I didn't know at the time. I just seen them sticking like animals on the floor, papers of animals on the floor that they walked around just to learn like multiplication. And uh, I asked them what were they doing. They couldn't tell me, they just knew they was about to play this game. So I went back to my classroom and asked my teacher, um, what's the winding game? He couldn't tell me, so I was like, yo, I gotta get on this team because it's like, this team having a lot of fun learning math. And this, this class we said in the law team was real bored. But like, the teacher up at the board talking, ooh, ooh, this, ooh, ooh, that. So I went home that day and I got my mom to write a letter to my principal telling them that I wanted to switch sides, uh, switch teams. So I was able to switch things and I just got involved with um, like Bob, Moses' son, Tom, that I said, I got involved with him. Started working with the algebra project, just out of school programs. And then like a year later, Omo Moses came down to the school. And I was just on Omo. We started working out with each other um, around algebra concepts, around out of school projects. And um, just made me a part of it. So once he did find the um, Young People's Project, he was like, you want to be a part of it? And I was like, yes, yeah. so I just keep it with them. Every day after school, weekend, it didn't matter. You know, I just cut off what I was doing in my neighborhood just so I could be a part of this. And it was like, I was surrounded by negativity. You know, like I got a lot of people that you know, was in my hood selling drugs, didn't really care about school. And I was like hanging with this crowd and I, you know, I felt like I needed to get out of this and just do my own thing. So with that being said, I just joined the program, started taking trips. Everywhere. I came to um, Boston, I think, in 96, I want to say. Yeah, 96. And I worked with um, a few students that was in the program back then who was working at Area 4. It gave me an opportunity to just meet different people, see different places. I've, I've been all around. I've been to Canada, New York, New Hampshire, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, um, Oakland. Um, it just gave me a chance to get out. Before then, I was just only thing I knew was Jackson and Mississippi. And I just stayed a part of it. I was able to finish high school, finish college, and still be a part of the program. It's like, whenever I need something, it's like they got my back. It was like a family oriented thing, you know? It, was, it wasn't a lot of hating going on, but you, you're gonna have fights amongst each other. It's like, in your house that you live in, you may argue a fight with your sister and brother. So it just gave me an opportunity to see how these guys think, how they work. You know, they really don't care about materialistic things. I look at it and be like, yo, you know, it's time for a change. It's just time to help somebody out, get back. So that's why I'm still a part of the program. And got to this one. So I'm just continuing to give out the blessings that I received back in the day. So that's why I'm here today. Today is the first day of training. Um, some of y'all, yeah, first day of training. 
some of y'all, I guess, don't really know exactly what's going to be happening. Um, a lot of what you're going to be doing here is going to help to determine your productivity, your overall position, and being able to work with us in the future. So the training is for the first two weeks. It's definitely not going to be y'all just sitting here, um, just getting lectured to or whatever. What you get out of this program pretty much is determined by what you put into it. I want y'all to take this seriously. At the same time, I want y'all to enjoy this and have fun with it. Um, just by a show of hands, who has done this YPP before? All right, so pretty much split half and half. Um, show of hands, who's new to pretty much the program? All right, so you pretty much have about 50-50 split. Um, pretty much is doing this training to get everybody caught up on the same page. We want y'all to feel comfortable with what's going to be happening, get a chance to understand what the program is about, why it was founded, and how you pretty much fit in. Um, with the name of the Young Keepers Project, it's pretty much telling you that it is the Young Keepers Project. Y'all are allowed to take ownership as to what is going to be happening. So taking ownership starts today. What do you like to do? Like I said, I'm not going to be sitting here talking to y'all all day. The training and everything else is going to be decided by y'all. Alright? So pretty much we have a diverse group. Majority of y'all are young people that are going to be leading your communities in different ways, through math, through sports, through whatever way y'all can, can, can contribute to this program. All right, all right, all right. Pay attention. Pay attention. In the best and easiest way possible, form two smaller groups and two circles in the best, easiest way possible. We're about to do that detangle activity. There's going to be a little twist. That's going to be tougher with it. So the first thing we want to do is start crossing hands. Listen, don't be cheating. What are y'all doing? What's that about? Lean on me. You should be able to do it. All right. You're going to complete this activity the same way you want to create a whole circle. First, the, the other main thing that you want to do is the whole group has to move clockwise. So you have to constantly be moving clockwise. So you have to constantly be doing whatever you're doing and moving clockwise as a whole group. You understand? Oh, no, I gotta make sure everybody's doing it properly. All right? Is that moving? We was mad confused at first, but then we started working together as well. It works, it works. Over here, what allowed y'all to be successful? Like, how are y'all finally able to get the full circle? Okay. 